perhaps you haven't given much thought to the jazz scene in Boston, but maybe now you will. I'm here at the Doubletree in Cambridge about to check out Scholars Jazz Club. Let's go. Scholars is a great venue, and for me it's a great venue. Part of, it, part of it's the history, but part of it's that it's so small and so intimate, and you really feel like you play something, the audience gives it right back, and before you know it, the audience is part of the performance. I mean, Boston has an amazing jazz legacy. I'm Dale Arabella Santori, general manager here at Scholars Jazz Club. It's a little bit of everything. You work with the production side on the booking, uh, the marketing and PR of the show, and then the actual logistics. So this is what you do every night to get a show started, get everybody in, get everybody out, and everybody happy. For everyone from Artero Sandoval to Diana Krall got her start here, Michael Buble, Jamie Cullum, uh, Harry Connick Jr., Wynton Marsalis have all played here. Ken, we didn't really know a lot about. He's certainly in the contemporary jazz genre, which fits exactly to probably our strongest audience base. I called him and said, you know, you have apparently have a lot of fans in the Boston area. Would you come in? And so we're really excited. It's going to be the first time he's ever played Ladies here. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce Mr. Ken Navarro and his all-star band. Yeah. about jazz is it's all about the performance. I'm Ken Navarro, I'm a jazz guitarist, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I compose my own music and I'm lucky enough to be able to play all over the country. What I do, as I was alluding to before, it's a mixture of songs, you know, that have, I hope, memorable melodies and forms that people would equate with a, with, with a song, but they're compositions at the same time that play out in many different sections that take you, again, hopefully on a trip. I grew up with the Beatles and Motown and all kinds of music, Jimi Hendrix, I mean, I just went through all these things. And then when I was about 17, uh, a kid in high school that that I always liked. He was very smart though, so he was like one of the nerds. He said, oh, you gotta hear this Miles Davis record, and, and we gotta try to play like this. <laughs> and, and it was a record that is now kind of a famous, infamous record called Bitches Brew that was a fusion of rock and jazz, really the first time people had done that. And uh, so, as a bunch of 17-year-olds, we all tried to emulate this music we didn't really understand. There's this rebel little enclave of people who are avid jazz fans in Boston. And there's now a new organization called Mass Jazz to promote um, the hotels and restaurants and venues that are in the proximity of jazz clubs. That's amazing and that's a new thing. So I think there's a lot of good energy that's happening that's kind of a resurgence in the last five years. If you want to hear more from Ken Navarro, check out his newly released album, Dreaming of Trains. Also be sure to check out Scholars Jazz Club to fulfill your appetite with jazz. For Backyard Boston, I'm Irina Zolfchek, keeping you in tune with Boston's Beat.